I did some damage. It's okay, though. Because it's Black Friday. Happy Black Friday, everybody. If you are wondering what deals are out there, go on other people's channels. I did not shoot a uh, hunting video. What's wrong with my hair? I did not shoot a hunting video, and for a very good reason. I could not go into Walmart and film. I can't do it. Because there's too many people, and I'm not comfortable filming inside of a Walmart. Unless I'm shooting for like a Tuesday video, I'm just not comfortable shooting around a bunch of people talking and potential music playing. So yesterday was Thanksgiving. I did go uh, to Big Lots. And uh, let's get into the Big Lots one first. Make sure that all these are... Okay, yeah. The only Big Lots Black Friday deal I got was not really anything except for the James Stewart signature, signature Collection. This comes with The Spirit of St. Louis, The FBI Story, The Naked Spur, The Stratton Story, The Cheyenne Social Club, and Fire Creek. I have not seen any of these. I watched the trailers for them because each movie comes on its own singular disc. And, uh... They come with theatrical trailers for them, and I watch all the old trailers because, to me, they're better than the new trailers. They don't spoil a whole lot. They have just something about them that's awesome, and this was $5 new. This was $5. If you have not seen that at your local Big Lots, check and see if they have it. That is a very good deal for $5. I went to Goodwill today. I'm pretty much showing you the small, small piles first. Then we're going to get into the um, biggest sack, which is uh, Walmart, after we get into family video. But this was at Goodwill today, and I paid two bucks for it, and that is the Frank Sinatra, The Golden Years. This comes with The Man, oh, they are on the front, okay. The Man with the Golden Arm, Marriage on the Rocks, Nothing But the Brave, or None But the Brave, Something came running, or some came running, good guy, I can't talk, and the Tender Trap. Have not seen any of these, haven't even seen the trailers for these, because I just got home, like, maybe an hour ago. So, two bucks for that. Pretty much seven dollars for uh, 11 movies. That's not bad at all. The Big Lots stuff... They had uh, a 5 for 5 on titles that were $1.99 or buy 2 for 3, so I took advantage of that, as well as a $4.99 deal. Let's get into that, shall we? The one four ninety nine deal was for my dad. Uh, he's a big fan of this movie, and we've been trying to find a copy of this on DVD forever, and it just never seems to pan out. We found it on uh, Amazon, used, but we're like, we'll find it eventually. We'll find it eventually. We have it. Uh, he watches every single year around Christmas time, and that's A Dog Named Christmas. I got the whole, or, <laughs> yeah, I got the whole movie. I got the uh, only copy in the store. I kept going in there trying to find it, and I like this movie too. This is a very good movie for Hallmark Channel. Hallmark Channel Hall of Fame, released by Cinedime. And uh, if you haven't seen this movie, this is pretty much... Let me uh, read the back of this to you. A developmentally challenged young man with a penchant for caring for animals in need sets out to convince his family and their whole rural community to participate in a local shelter's inaugural Adopt-A-Dog-For-Christmas program. This is a very good movie. Then we'll go into... The uh, 5 for 5 deals. Got one Blu-ray, four DVDs. This one is also for my parents. This is The Shack. I really have no interest in owning this, but they like these Christian movies, and if religious movies are your thing, then go to your local family video. They could have this for $1 if you get 5 for 5. Then we have The Wild Wedding with Glenn Close, John Malkovich, and... Uh, Patrick Stewart. Never seen it. Another one here with Glenn Close, but also with Antoine, Anton Yelchin, Lambert Wilson, uh, 
It is called Five to Seven. I don't know anything about it. I needed another DVD. This one I've been passing on for years. I've seen it in big lots. I think I've seen it inside of a Dollar Tree, maybe. And I've seen this in family video for years and years and years. For like the past five years. And I never bothered to pick it up. For a buck, I'm like, why not? I love Emma Watson. That's the bling ring. I've been wanting to see this. Sofia Coppola. How can I pass on that for a dollar? Then this one was a movie that came out this past year. Uh, or maybe this year this came out. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let me see here. I think it was this year. Because it didn't seem like that long ago. Nicolas Cage and Robert... Uh, Robert. Robin Tooney in Looking Glass. This film will be hopefully good. Uh, Nicolas Cage has a movie out now called Mandy, which I'm hoping to uh, review for you guys here in the very near future. Now let's go on to the Walmart haul. I didn't buy a lot of Blu-rays. I only bought three Blu-rays. We will take a look at those Blu-rays at the very tail end. We are going to go with the $2 DVD I got. And that is Jurassic Park. I did not own Jurassic Park. Uh, I have seen this film. I saw it in 3D and it was really good. This is a great film. Great film. Probably the best in the uh, series. I have not seen two th or three. But I own two. And I'm, once I get three, I am going to just binge watch all of them and rank them. Then we got for three ninety six the three movies Night at the Museum collection. I like them. I like them. The only one I remember is number one, and even though it's not the best film, these all have stellar casts. I mean, Hank Azaria, Owen Wilson, Amy Adams, uh, Rebel Wilson, Ricky Dreyfus. Um, Robin Williams, Ben Stiller. For four bucks, you can't really beat it. All films on their own singular disc. I love it. And that monkey is adorable. 396. Also for 396, I have only seen the first one of this. And for 396, I couldn't pass this up. These are insanely short movies. I can binge watch these in like a day. And that is Open Season 4 Movie Collection. Open Season 1, 2, 3, and, and Scared Silly. I'm probably going to watch these really soon. Maybe even a couple of them tonight. Because I like the first Open Season from what I remember of it. And that's not very much. For $3.96, I couldn't pass that up. Then for $3.96, Red Sparrow. I know. Uh, why DVD? Well, because I didn't want to spend the 10 bucks on Blu-ray. And I'm fine having this on DVD. I can buy the code eventually at Family Video for like $2.99 if I want to. So I don't need the Blu-ray. And this has some special features. Uh, it has a director's commentary with Francis Lawrence. And uh, deleted scenes. So I don't, I don't know if the Blu-ray has any more. But if I want to, I can just get the Blu-ray from the library if I, can, if I want to see it. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Then I got, I wanted it on Blu-ray. I will get it on Blu-ray eventually. But that is Paddington 2. For three ninety six. I could not pass up Paddington 2. I love the Paddington movies. They are perfect. And if the third one is 10%, 10%. As good as 1 and 2, this is in talks for one of the greatest trilogies of all time. And the top five. Then we have John Cena in Ferdinand. People did not like this movie. I enjoyed this film. The only reason I bought this is because it's John Cena. If you know me, I'm a wrestling fan at heart. I mean, I love films, but wrestling was my first passion. And John Cena has trailed away from wrestling. 
uh, to going into film. So I like to support everything he does, no matter what. I mean, even when he's on the Today Show, I watch it. And I'm not a fan of the Today Show. Ferdinand is a great film to just sit down with your family and watch. My family will be definitely sitting down and watching Ferdinand this holiday season. It's not a Christmas movie, but for four bucks, I couldn't beat it. I wanted the Blu-ray of this one, too, but I couldn't find it. I looked through a bunch of DVDs and Blu-rays for the Blu-ray, but I just found the DVD, and that's fine. Uh, I'm going away on vacation uh, tomorrow, so if I find it on Blu-ray, I'll just pick it up then. But that is The Greatest Showman. One of my favorite films of all time, potentially my favorite movie of all time. Uh, I can't decide if it's this or The Breakfast Club. It changes every once in a while. I know. It, it changes, but it's okay. I do love the film, though. Then we have three Christmas Blu-rays. I've wanted these movies on Blu-ray for a while. I've owned them on DVD. And that is Elf on Blu-ray for $5.96. The Polar Express on Blu-ray for $5.96. And A Christmas Story. Four five ninety six. I mean, you can't really beat the price because yeah, yeah, you're just getting the Blu-ray. It doesn't come with a digital or a DVD, but you don't really need it. Uh, for five ninety six, you can get just the normal Blu-ray. But if you want to spend a little extra money, you can go out there and get like pop figures. I think, uh, except for the Polar Express, you, you can get like a pop vinyl for. Elf, I know, uh, The Grinch, and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and potentially this one, don't quote me on it, but these are just a couple of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. I saw this one in theaters uh, when I was in like kindergarten or first grade, and I didn't really enjoy it, but now... That I'm older, I enjoyed a bit more. So that is everything I got for my Black Friday. Or for Black Friday deals. I am going to be potentially getting a couple more ones. Uh, I could not find Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom on DVD. Um, I was not going to pay the price that Walmart wanted for the DVD of Peter Rabbit. I mean, I'm not going to spend, what was it, $9? I can potentially get that in the $5 bin soon. I, I could potentially even get the Blu-ray soon. But, and everything just went everywhere. But that's okay. I will see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be a movie review. If you haven't seen my past videos, I have reviews for uh, The Christmas Chronicle. Uh, the Princess Switch. Just a bunch of other movie reviews and DVD and Blu-ray updates. I have weekly reviews, uh, up sometimes daily reviews. It just depends on how much I watch that week. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time.